This video is one in a series of videos that cover database topics in three themes. We look at Oracle Apex, Application Express for web applications, relational database concepts for designing and building databases, and SQL, the programming language for working with a relational database. If you want to work with the video series, you can go to this URL to get the scripts and handouts. This SQL video goes along with APEX 6. We looked at the source code for a report that was created by APEX, and we're going to now talk about the select command, which we use to pull data from a database. We'll talk a little bit about what's case sensitive and what isn't. Oracle treats data as case sensitive, so a word that starts with a capital letter is treated differently than the same word if it starts with a lowercase letter. However, SQL commands, typing in SELECT, either in caps, mixed case, or lowercase, makes no difference whatsoever. A good way to see a demonstration of this is to use SELECT distinct. We'll also talk about single quotes versus double quotes. What's the difference? And what is a fully qualified column name? I'm logged into Apex as one of the developer accounts. I'm Mark Adams. I've already gone into Application Builder. I'm going to click on the application. Then I'm going to click on the report, List Animals. This is the report page. On the far left, under Content Body, in the rendering section, I click on Report, which gives me the properties on the far right for that report, which includes the source code. I'll click on this little icon, and I get a pop-up window that shows me all the code at one time in a nice window. I'm going to copy this, and I'm actually going to move out of Apex and work at the database level, because we're working with, even through Apex, we're working directly with the database with this code. I'm logged in to Animal Shelter. I'll do a right-click with Paste, and then I see the code listed here. Now, first off, let me just say you don't need the double quotes. The double quotes will maintain case, all caps, mixed case, lower case. There's no reason to have the column names in double quotes. So I can refer to column names in upper or lower case in an SQL command unless I have clearly specified, which I've never done, that the name has to be maintained as either uppercase, lowercase, or mixed case. In general, SQL commands and the objects that we are referring to are not case sensitive. Only the data that's contained in the table is. Let me take the double quotes out. I'll go to Edit, and I'll go to Replace. Up here, I'll do a double quote. And down here, I'll get rid of that. I don't want to replace, I want to replace the double quotes with nothing. And so I'll click Replace All, and all the double quotes are gone. This command will not run just yet because we have this pound sign, owner, pound sign. That's simply, that's strictly Apex notation. Apex uses to specify that we want to look at a table in a specific schema that's recorded in Apex. So I'm going to delete that and then try running this. So I'll click Execute. Either one of these will work. And then I have another problem here. And the problem is in the video we did a lookup table so we no longer have a field called DOM underscore breed. We have DOM underscore breed underscore ID. So now I will run this command. And let me, by the way, I'll do that in lowercase and run it again. It makes no difference. I can come up here and say mix, lowercase. It executes. So in general, the syntax, let me do a right click, and it's off the screen, but go down to Format and select Format. And when you do that, SQL Developer helps us with a nice formatting for our SQL command. It has moved select to capital letters simply to make it more distinctive, and it also indented things that weren't part of the actual SQL commands. So our command is select, followed by the names of the columns we want to see. I'm going to take out some of these. B1, 
because we don't have to look at them all. So we can list what we want to see. Then the next part of the command is from and the table we want to see data from. If we want to limit the data to a specific criterion, then we would have a where clause. So we would say where primary color equals brown and then run that command. Notice that we are now only seeing brown. Text that's in single quotes is treated as actual data which is case sensitive. This is saying capital B lowercase r-o-w-n. Notice what happens if I come over here and I do a lowercase b. I get no match. Data is case sensitive. Text or strings of data are in single quotes. However, if I come up here after primary color and I want to use what we call a column alias, then I put that in double quotes. It's simply a label. It's not actual data. It's just going to exist during the execution of this command. And I'm going to say main color. We'll see that the, the mixed case is maintained. I'll come back at, down here and change that to B for brown and execute. Main color, brown. Let me try, let's see, let me try white. I get seven records. Let me try it with lower case. I get one record. Data is case sensitive. SQL commands are not case sensitive. Double quotes are used for things such as a column alias, where we don't want to see the actual name of the column. We want to replace it with a label. So I briefly want to mention what we call a fully qualified column name or fully qualified table name. That's when I would put animal shelter, which is the schema name, a period, and then the actual table name. Or up here, the table that that column comes from. We'll see the need for that when we use more than one table and we have the same column name in two different tables. We will need to specify that we're talking about animals.animal underscore ID. If we're going across different schemas, we might need to put the schema name in front of the table name. Now let me come back to case sensitivity for just a second and do a different select statement. So I'm going to do select and I'm going to do primary color. That's the only thing I want to see from the animal table. So select primary color from animals and run that. If you see 50, SQL Developer stops at 50, so you should scroll down and see if you have more than 50. In this case, we have 51. Let me do an order by and get the colors sorted. Now when I scroll down toward the end, I see even though I had black listed at the top, I now see black with a lowercase letter listed near the bottom. I can see this more easily if, if I add distinct to the select command. So let me run that. And we see 19, okay? But we see that black, tan, and white in lowercase are treated differently than black, tan, and white that start with a capital letter. So data itself, what you find in the field, in the column, is case sensitive. And this actually indicates that we have some inconsistency in our data, which APEX will help us prevent in the future. We can clean this data up and make sure that when people enter in a color, that the first letter is always capitalized or the first letter is never capitalized. APEX will help us out with that.